Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use a VPN to get an Indian IP address and make it seem as if you're in India. It doesn't matter where in the world you physically are. You'll be able to make it seem as if you're in India and get access to GeoCinema or any other streaming content or other website that's only available within India itself. So the first thing to do is get a VPN like this one over here, ExpressVPN. This is my personal favorite. It's really easy to use and works fantastic regardless of how you want to use it, whether it's for streaming content or for accessing crypto websites or banking websites, it doesn't matter what. And then you would just go over here and go to the location bar and you can just search for India. Now you'll get the option for India itself. You can just click on that or you can click on this arrow and then you'll get two options, either India via UK or via Singapore. And the reason it says that is because these aren't physical servers that are located in India. The actual server itself is going to be located either in the UK or Singapore. But either way, when you connect up to one of these, you'll get an Indian IP address. If you want for some reason to connect up to a server in Chennai, go with UK. And if you want to make it seem as if you're in New Delhi, then click on Singapore. So right here, I'm not in India right now. I'm connected up to India via UK. And all I did was just select that location, click on the big connection button, and that's all there is to it. And that's why right here I can go in and access GeoCinema. And if I went and I went to an IP checker website, so this is just what is my IP.com, you can see that I have a new IP address and it's located in Chennai. So that's all there is to it. It doesn't matter, even though right now physically I happen to be in Europe, I have access to GeoCinema and I would be able to access any other Indian website that I wanted to. Now, like I said, ExpressVPN would be my number one recommendation. I happen to get a hold of a really good discount. If you want to check it out, it'll be in the description below. So you can find that for ExpressVPN. But some of the other options out there that are also really good besides Express are going to be this one right here, NordVPN. This is a really nice VPN. It has a lot of different features. So you have different types of servers over here, like double VPN, which will connect you up to two different VPN servers before getting you to the final server location. So that'll just give you an added layer of protection and security. You have some add ons like Threat Protection Pro, which is a mini antivirus that is standalone and independent of the VPN. You don't need to have the VPN connected for this feature. And there's a lot to NordVPN. So if you want to find out more about this or really any of these other VPNs, I'll have full in-depth reviews for all of them in the description as well. Now with NordVPN, if we would just go here to the connections, the search bar, we can just search India and you have a server in Mumbai. So you have one place in Mumbai as opposed to Express, which has two. But you do have that option here. You could also go over to the map. We can just go over to India. That one right there in India, that'll be the Mumbai server. So that's NordVPN. Personally, I happen to like Express more just because I like its simplicity and the ease of use. But if you're somebody that wants a more complicated option, more customization, more features, then NordVPN might be the way to go for you. And lastly, if you're on a budget, then there's Surfshark. This VPN doesn't have as many features as Nord. It's not as easy and simple to use as Express, but it is the cheapest. The premium plan for Surfshark will still be cheaper than the basic plan for a lot of other VPNs. And when it comes to India, we can just search right here. You will have two options as well, Delhi and Mumbai. So you do have options to connect up and get an IP address in India and access that content. It will work. But would I say it's as good as NordVPN and Express? Not quite. But if you're tight for money, then I do think Surfshark is the best option for the money. One really nice thing, though, about Surfshark is that with just one account, with one subscription, you can connect an unlimited amount of devices. So you can cover your entire family, all your friends. You can share your subscription with them and they can all get Surfshark. Whereas with NordVPN, you're going to be limited to 10 devices. And with ExpressVPN, it will be eight devices. So that is a nice bonus for Surfshark. And regardless of which one you choose, you'll be able to find those discount links and full reviews in the description. That'll be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this helps you out. If you have any countries or other topics you'd want me to cover, feel free to leave a comment down below. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.